Harley Davidson CVO is a motorcycle that many of us love and some of us hate. But if you're thinking about buying a CVO, there are a few factors to consider. Let's talk about it. Some of the things that I'm about to go over with you guys, I believe that I have personal experience from. And I say that because I've owned this Harley Davidson 2021 Street Glide CVO for, I don't know, year and a half, two years now. And so I wanna draw from some of my experience and share with you guys, especially if you think you're in the market for a CVO. Hey everyone, my name is Ty and welcome back to the channel. I most certainly appreciate your time today as we get rolling here. So I'm sure that many of us already know that the CVO line is Harley Davidson's premium line of motorcycles. And one of the reasons for that is the, the uh, price tag that comes with the CVO. You know, it's got all the bells and whistles or many of the bells and whistles and some really nice paint schemes too. All of those things we're gonna be talking about in just a few minutes. And that is what draws people to the CVO or specifically it did for me. So we're gonna take a lot of these one by one and I'm gonna provide my feedback for you but I'd love for you to comment down below. Tell me if you agree with me. Tell me if you disagree with me. And if you have some other thoughts of your own that I didn't mention, let me hear about it. All right, as I mentioned, one of the very first things that drew me into shopping around for the CVO is all the extras that Harley Davidson throws in on this motorcycle. And that's one of the things that I told my wife. I was like, honey, here's the thing. It's great because I'm gonna be able to purchase this motorcycle. Everything that you can think of that I've poured into my other motorcycles in the past, I won't have to with this one because it all comes stock straight from the factory. There's hardly anything at all that I'm gonna to have to be doing. Boy, was I wrong about that. Here, just off the top of my head, some of the things that I've done to this motorcycle so far, well, of course, I've put exhaust on it. You know, you can't keep a Harley Davidson stock exhaust. That's a big no-no. But I um, also put uh, bars on this one. Uh, this one's got a tour pack that uh, it has, oh my goodness, custom dynamics, lights, new windshield, shocks. Yeah, I put Legend shocks front and rear on this motorcycle and boy let me just tell you that ain't cheap but it is a fast improvement over the stock suspension so those are some that some things that you might want to keep in mind along with the cvo price tag you're going to be dumping some money into this motorcycle something else to think about is the cvo engine of today just might be the normal engine of tomorrow and what do i mean by that well when i purchased this cvo the 117 uh, i mean the other than the 131 you know but the 117 was the biggest engine that you could get straight from the factory and it was specifically reserved for the harley davidson cvo line well now that's uh that's a little different now the CVO, uh, I'm sorry, the 117 is not only in the CVO, but it's all actually in uh, what uh, all the the ST lineup: Road Glide ST, Street Glide ST, Lowrider ST. Um, is it also in the Street Bob now? I can't remember. I know it's uh, at least a 114 in the Street Bob. But anyway, so what used to be the premium engine that is reserved for the CVO line has now moved into other aspects of the Harley-Davidson motorcycle lineup. Not everything has to be negative, right? If we're talking about this particular subject, it doesn't have to be negative. I've got something positive I want to say, is that if you do indeed purchase a CVO, you might not ever look back again. And what do I mean by that? I mean, when you have a CVO, it's tough to compare any other motorcycle to it. Now I do have a, another motorcycle. I've got a Lowrider ST that I just purchased and they're just for two different types of riding for the most part. I mean, I can't wait to really take the, the Lowrider ST out on an all day ride and, a, and a, like an over weekend trip or something like that. But it might be tough to compare other motorcycles in Harley Davidson's lineup to the CVO, especially 
if you really really like it so i am super impressed by this motorcycle again harley has done a fantastic job and this is one that i want to keep for a long long time all right starting to get a little little sprinkle come down rain is big time in the forecast for like the next 10 days i mean nothing but rain so i really wanted to get out and do a little bit of a, a ride if possible so looks like i might get rained on we're just going to roll with it one of the other things i would say one of the last things maybe is to consider the cost you know all you have to do is go on harley davidson's website and look at the cvo you're gonna know how much they're charging where there's the street glide road glide all the other options that they have it's not cheap so one of the things i would caution you against is if you think that uh, you would like to own multiple motorcycles there is a very real possibility that you could own two fairly new harley davidson motorcycles for what you are going to invest in a single cvo so if something like that is an issue you might want to consider it or would i rather have a cvo or would i rather pick two other motorcycles in the harley davidson lineup if i'm going to be investing x amount of dollars but i would also say this if it makes good financial sense for you and your family and uh, you and your significant other are behind it I pull the trigger if it, if it makes good sense for you if it makes you happy I, I don't see why not go for it have a good time do your thing just something to consider if you're purchasing a CVO well, let me just say this as I close this video out all in all the Harley Davidson CVO is a fantastic motorcycle and I don't want to trade this bike or get rid of it for a long, long time. I really want to put a lot more miles on this bike. So if you're thinking about getting a CVO, let me know in the comments below. What kind are you thinking about getting? What paint do you have your eye on? All those type of things, I'd love to be able to hear it. And if you have previously owned a CVO, whether your experience is good or bad, let me hear it in the comments hey guys i tell you what i appreciate your time very much if you would give me a like and a subscribe i hope you have an excellent day and we'll talk to you again soon